can see the pair of z to be equal to a given expression where z is complex and m is real positive given that z minus 3i is a factor of p of z find the roots of p of z is equal to 0. According to the remainder theorem we know that any polynomial of x or z doesn't matter can be represented as x minus a multiplied by another polynomial plus the remainder and this remainder is equal to polynomial at point a. So x minus a to be a factor it means uh, that uh, there must be multiplication only and remainder uh, plus uh, minus something must be equal to zero or plus or minus must not be present at all there must be multiplication only so uh, remainder must be equal to zero it means the polynomial at a must be equal to zero and it means that a is a root so if z minus 3i is a factor it means that 3i is a root and it's actually the first root so we can write that z is 3i is a root but we know that if a complex number is a root a complex conjugate is also a root complex conjugate you need just substitute negative i for i everywhere in the expression of a complex number so it's just negative 3i is also a root and we need to find this third root because it's a polynomial degree of 3 and uh, uh, there are 3 roots in total and definitely it will be a real root because uh, complex roots arise in pairs but we can see that there is unknown value of m and uh, let's find this m how can we find m? we know that polynomial is 0 when z is 3i so we just substitute 3i for, for z and equate this expression to 0 and we'll find m so it becomes 0 is for m minus m times 3i plus 36 over m z squared is 3i squared it's 9i squared i squared is negative 1 so it's minus 36 over m and multiplied by 9 minus z cubed it's 3i cubed it's 27i cubed i cubed it's uh, i squared which is negative 1 times i so it's finally plus 27i and if you meet uh, some uh, complex expression is equal to another complex expression we can find unknown parameters if we equate uh, real and imaginary parts but you must write this phrase equating real and imaginary parts because you may lose uh, marks for method and actually it's, it will be enough uh, uh, to equate uh, real or imaginary uh, real part only or imaginary only but let's write equating equating real and imaginary parts so for real it becomes 4m minus 36 times 9 over m is equal to 0 because the real part on the left hand side is 0 and we can find m so it becomes 4 multiplied by m squared minus 36 times 9 over m is 0 so it means that m is uh, m squared is 9 times 9 or m is just 9 because m is uh, uh, real and positive but we need to check uh, uh, the imaginary part because the uh, overall expression must be true so let's check uh, the imaginary part so it becomes uh, 0 is uh, minus m so minus 9 times 3 plus 27 is uh, 0 is 0 so it's true so uh, m is 9 and now our polynomial becomes and let rewrite uh, starting uh, from the greatest power so it becomes It becomes negative z cubed plus 4z squared minus 9z plus 
36. And according to the remainder theorem, it can be represented as uh, z minus 3i multiplied by z plus 3i multiplied by another polynomial of z and without remainder because 3i and negative 3i are roots. Or we can multiply uh, these two expressions and it's uh, it's actually a minus b a plus b so it's a squared minus b squared is z squared plus 9 multiplied by q of z and uh, we can see that z squared plus 9 is also a root and and since uh, it's polynomial of degree of 3 uh, q it's a uh, polynomial of degree of 1 because it's the degree of 2 multiplied by polynomial of degree of 1 and again we get uh, polynomial of degree of 3 and we need to find this q and then if we equate it uh, to 0 again we will find uh, the third root so how to find q we need just divide polynomial by z squared plus 9 what should be multiplied by z squared to get negative z cubed it's negative z then we multiply negative z by z squared plus 9 and right here so it's minus z cubed uh, minus 9z and now the first row minus the second row so it becomes a zero uh, for z squared it cancels 0 plus 36 and what should be multiplied by z squared to get 4z squared the greatest power here it's 4 so plus 4 and again 4 multiplied by z squared plus 9 becomes 4z squared plus 36 and again 0 minus 0 and we can see that it's 0 and it must be 0 because z squared plus 9 is a factor so remainder must be equal to 0 if you get no 0 here it means that there is a mistake hence our polynomial becomes z squared plus 9 multiplied by negative z plus 4 and if you need roots, you can just equate it to zero, and you can see that when z squared plus nine is equal to zero, you get uh, our roots plus minus three i and negative z plus four also can be equal to zero, and we can see that z is four. It's our third root. So roots are three i negative three i and four. And it's all for this question.